Hey guys, and welcome back to another Physics in the Flesh episode in Dynamics, Hanging Fuzzy Dice. A pair of fuzzy dice is hanging by a string from your rear view mirror. While you are accelerating from a stoplight to 25 meters per second in 5.5 seconds, what angle theta does the string make with the vertical? So this question already gives you a diagram. Okay, so you've got your car uh, the top here, you've got your rear view mirror, your fuzzy dice hanging, and it's hanging by a string, so there's going to be some tension there. It's hanging at an angle theta from the vertical. Uh, you've got your weight, your force of gravity going down because obviously the fuzzy dice have a mass. Okay, and we've got our acceleration going forward and we need to find what this angle is. So first things first, let's uh, draw a free body diagram. Okay, let me grab the blue actually. Okay, now although they have provided us with the picture here, I want to draw another one simply with forces uh, and less complicated than this. Okay, so I'm going to draw my dice. Uh, so there's that. And I have my tension force going off to the side here, FT. And this is making an angle theta with the vertical. Now, if you wonder why this angle and this angle are the same, think back to grade nine geometry when you learned about the Z pattern. Okay, if you have one line here and you go down an angle, you make another line parallel to the first one, you've essentially created the letter Z here. Now that letter Z means that this angle here and that angle there are the same. And so that's what I've done here. I've done the other part of the Z. Okay, so I've got my force of tension. I've got my force of gravity, okay? Now, force of gravity is purely in the negative Y direction. Uh, my tension force has components in both the positive X and positive Y directions. Okay, so we've got FTX and we've got FTY. So we've got both things going on there. So there's actually a common way to solve a lot of these problems. And that is you always start with Newton's second law after you do your free body diagram. And then you do Newton's second law in both the X direction and the Y direction. And you end up with two equations, two unknowns. You sub them into each other and you end up solving for your unknown piece. Okay, so I'm gonna start with Newton's second law in the Y direction. So here we go, F net Y equals M-A-Y. And the first thing I think of, you know what, is, is the thing, is the object in this question accelerating up or down vertically for A-Y? And the answer is no, it's not. So that means my acceleration is zero, and zero times any number is zero. So this entire expression on the right disappears. Now, the left side, the net force in the Y direction, or the sum of the forces in the Y, I can replace that with something else. So in the y direction, I've got FTY, so that's going up, and I've got FG coming down. So I'm going to do FTY minus FG equals zero. Okay, next up would be to add FG to both sides and bring it over. FTY equals FG. Now, this next step is the same for a lot of problems. Whenever you have a component of a force, you want to express it in terms of the original force, which in this case is represented by the hypotenuse of this triangle, times the sine cosine of the angle. Okay, in this case, FTY is adjacent to the theta, so it's cosine. Okay, we're dealing with cosine here. So FTY is FT cosine theta equals mg. It's after all, weight is mg. Now isolate for force of tension, Ft equals mg over cos theta. Now, if you're wondering why I didn't isolate for cos theta, because you might be thinking, hey, you're looking for theta, you should isolate for that. Well, remember I said we're gonna need two equations with two unknowns. So if this is gonna be my first equation here, equation number one, and I get an equation number two, also in terms of Ft, if I set Ft equal to Ft, they disappear and all I'm left with is the thetas and mass accelerations, things like that. Okay, so that's why it's important that you write it like this. Okay, so I've gone ahead, I've done it in the x direction, uh, pardon me, the y direction. Let's go ahead and do the x direction now. Same idea, F net x equals max. Okay, now this is a little different, all right? So you ask yourself again, am I accelerating in the x direction? And this time the answer is yes, you are. And it's right there. Okay, the car is going forward. If the car was not accelerating in the horizontal direction, you wouldn't get this dice moving off to the side like this at this angle. 
if you were accelerating at zero or if you were just not moving, the dice would be hanging vertically as per usual, just like when the car is parked. Okay, so we are accelerating, but then the question becomes how much? Now, although we weren't told in the question how much you're accelerating by, you are given information to determine the acceleration right here. You are accelerating from a stoplight. Stop implies you start at zero meters per second to 25 meters per second. V naught, V final, time interval, that's it. That's all you need to find acceleration. Change in velocity over change in time. Okay, so we're gonna find the acceleration on the side and then we'll plug it into our final, final system here. Okay, so Acceleration in the x is equal to vx minus v naught x over time. Vx is 25 meters per second. V naught x is 0 meters per second divided by 5 and a half seconds. Okay, so if you enter that in your calculator, you're going to get acceleration to be 4.55 meters per second squared. Okay, and that you're going to use back in, in your math. I probably won't plug it in right away. I'm gonna to try to simplify my expressions first and then do that. Okay, so first things first, uh, F net X, I only have one force in my X direction, that's FTX, and it's going in the positive X direction. So I'm gonna replace F net X with FTX, and I'm gonna replace again, well, actually I'm gonna leave that as is, MAX. Okay, FTX, next step, express it in terms of the original force. So here we go, FTX is opposite to this angle, so therefore FTX is equal to FT times sine of theta. FT sine theta equals MAX, okay? Isolate for FT, divide both sides by sine theta, MAX over sine theta. And there you have equation number two. Okay, remember equation number one we had over here? Also in terms of FT, now we've got equation two, also FT. So next step would be to set equation one equal to equation two and solve. Okay, so now if I set one equal to two, I'm gonna get mg over cos theta equals mAx over sine theta. So if you were thinking in the beginning of the question, hey, they didn't give us mass, well, that's because they didn't need to, it cancels out. Okay, there's one mass on each side as a product, so it's gone. Now, here is where we realize, okay, we gotta isolate theta. So we gotta get all the thetas on one side. So I'm gonna bring the sine theta over to the top because I recognize sine theta over cos theta as another expression. The cos theta over sine theta doesn't really help us in this case. So AX, now bring the G down to the denominator on the right, AX over G. Okay, so if you remember from trigonometry class, sine theta over cos theta is tangent theta. So tan theta is equal to AX, which is 4.55 meters per second squared over G, oh, G not GX, just G, 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay, how convenient, your units cancel out meters per second squared. And let's continue that over here. Okay, so tan theta, equals 0 0.46. You find theta by taking the inverse tangent of both sides. And when you do that, you are going to get theta is equal to 25 degrees. And that is correct to the right number of sig figs. There is two. So therefore, the fuzzy dice make an angle of 25 degrees with the vertical. And that's it guys for this video. I hope you learned something from it. If you did, be sure to click that like button and subscribe to Physics in the Flesh so you never miss a video from me, which by the way, I post every weekday at 12 noon. So be sure to be on my channel at that time to catch the latest physics video. Okay guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will catch you in the next video.